Hey, welcome to Seen It with Mal Hall movie review vlog. Um, uh, I'm here with Yasser Lester today. Say hello. Hey, my phone just went off. All right. <laughs> uh, we saw Total Recall. Yasser, as a fan of Total Recall, the original, please, how'd you feel about the movie? Uh, they took all the cool science fiction elements out of the original and replaced them with guns. Which is fine, like, I, I like action movies, but literally, like we were talking about yeah. before, it was like, hey, do you want to go to this recall place? Sure, I'd love to go. <laughs> <laughs> Credits. That was literally the entire movie. It was just him like, which hot girl am I going to shoot? <laughs> <laughs> And then Brian Cranston is going, get him, get him. And then he, like, I don't want to ruin it. Spoiler alert, that's yeah, the whole movie, that's right? Little, that's the a movie. synopsis. It, it would have been a really great <laughs> sketch on YouTube. Were, like, it would have been like one of those things that, you know, when people put a bunch of money into like a five minute YouTube clip yeah, yeah, yeah. and they get big movie deals. Yeah. To make it, that, it would have been the pre, it would have been the YouTube clip that would get you the bigger that movie that the you're teaser supposed to, to make. Get you to yeah. the movie. Um, this movie, Reminded me of Step Up Revolution, uh, which I saw. Yeah, that's, that's in that episode. the whole movie was let's have a few words to get to the dancing. Right, this yeah, movie yeah. was like let's have a few words to get to the running and the shooting, yeah. and that's all it was. Well, it was just like I, I don't get how like. Okay, clearly we know that he, his mind is being messed with or whatever. Right. But every time Kate Beckinsale, who played his wife in the movie or wife or whatever. Right. Every time she was on screen with him, she was just like, but we're married. Like it was yeah. like some super sarcastic, <laughs> like, oh, yeah. till death do us part. You don't know where his mouth has been. Yeah, How was dirty like, is your yeah. asshole? But I was just like, get, okay, we get it by now. It's like, <laughs> yeah. are you making it, you're shooting at someone and you're trying to make them jealous? Yeah, like, yeah. Women That's, are crazy. Yeah. Women That's are true. crazy. It's a deal. <laughs> Yeah, but it went her like okay. It's like okay. They you didn't the, explain her. Well, it was like I, okay. I get her role was she was like I'm the lieutenant in this resistance. Yeah, but you only got that because you watched the original. No, I got it. They said it. They said yeah, she's the but and they but it then wasn't again, very well. Explained. No, that's what I'm it was saying. Just like, like, oh, like, he fell under the freeway, well, and then that's this what I'm saying. And then, like get in the yeah, car, and then they're like, oh, by the way, she's the leader of the resistance. Yeah, and like, then another thing is that like if you're the leader of a resistance. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Woman. why are you crying the entire time? Literally the entire movie, she's just like, I just can't believe this. Yeah. It's like, get up! You've been How'd bombing you? people! You're crying? You're crying right How'd now. you make it to yeah. lose? There's you some dude, <laughs> there's some dude in the resistance that's yeah, like, he's like oh, this bitch? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And then the leader of the resistance was like 97 years old. Yeah, and I think he, the guy that, um, have you seen Underworld? Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. It was the entire yeah. Underworld. World this was Underworld just, yeah. without uh, werewolves and vampires. Exactly, dude. It was Underworld, but set in like the Blade Runner set. And, <laughs> it looked like yeah, a video game. Yeah, and then it was just like the dialogue from that Wesley Snipes movie, The Art of War. Like I feel like I they just haven't seen that. It's the exact. It's like okay. it's. I mean, it's all the action is the same. Like it was just very. And then another thing is like, okay, you guys are in the future, and they have that thing, the gun where Colin Farrell he has his gun and he like shoots it, and it's like this laser whip. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like a, okay, it's a lasso gun. Right. Yeah. It's like, oh, and then it's magnetic, and he can like right. control people. It's right. like, okay, you have that. But then you still also have regular guns. Bullets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With like green lasers on them instead of like a red. Like, I don't know. It was Can I good. tell you one reason why I enjoy being black is because. Tell me. Tell me. Uh, because everyone knows that black is like the best, right? right? Yeah. Like every movie you see, the most badass weapon is like the most black right, yeah, yeah. weapon ever. Right, yeah. So they had these stormtroopers in the movie, yeah. but they were robot yeah, police full, officers. Yeah. And the entire movie, it was just all white ones. Right. And then all of a sudden at the end of the movie, did you recognize the one yeah. black one looks like yeah. the most badass? Yeah, super sleek. But then he was also the first to die. <laughs> That's true. It's the first one to die. It's the first. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first. Story. I never realized that. <laughs> 
<laughs> and it was very and like that's what a, a thing I didn't like about it because the rest of the, like other stormtroopers were killed. Right. But when they killed the black one, it was very it was, epic. Like he was like, he yeah. like deprogrammed and is like nigger bot. Like, <laughs> it was very hands on and right, intimate. Exactly. The way like every other one was just like, yeah. but this one he's like, oh, I'm gonna hang him. And yeah. Blah. I don't know. Tracked I just... behind a truck. That was weird. Right? <laughs> truck came out of nowhere. <laughs> a wooden cross. Yeah, there was no wood in the off. entire movie. Everything oh. was just, and I don't know if it was like a subtly racist thing, but it's like everything was just Asian on Mars. Everything. It was just Asians and a couple of like Canadian white. Yeah, people. exactly. And then uh, his black friend, who he shot in the head. Yeah. The, yeah. He shot his black best friend in the head. That's, I, I don't. I wish there. I had more to say. Four things happen in the movie. <laughs> he goes to recall. He shoots his black best friend. He kills a black robot. He no, no, no. Jessica you Biel. fucked up the order. He goes to recall. He kills his black friend. He runs from Jessica Biel. That's right. Then he kills the black robot. The end. Credits. <laughs> and then, okay, another thing. Okay, remember. <laughs> this is something that annoys me to no end in every movie is when a, a scene isn't emotional enough and they add slow motion and post and it looks terrible and that's how they ended it they ended it with like is everything okay yeah everything's okay <laughs> like, it's like what is that? It was of an action movie, it was okay, but like, don't call it Total Recall. Just they didn't even need to name it that. They could have just called it something else. They could have called it Space Run. Yeah, Space, Space Elevator. Space Escape. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, two chicks at the same damn time. They could have called it that, yeah. which is long, but I feel like it was. Yeah, more. Oh, and another thing we were talking about. They're listening to dubstep in the movie. <laughs> yeah. 400 years in the future. Into the future. They're, they're getting tattoos made of light. Right. right? And, so their arms are glowing. And they're rocking out to Skrillex. Yeah, still. <laughs> and it's like, that's not like the Beatles. Yeah. That, that, I can't imagine. No, Skrillex is not going down in history as right. a musical legend. And it's like, I would get it if they even tried to like play with it a little more and make it so essentially the music is just like, like and it's just <laughs> a series of noises. I'd be like, oh, okay. So Something I didn't like about the movie uh, that I talked to you about, which is, and I have this problem in every action movie. Two things I just thought of. Number one, uh, the escape hatch in every elevator. What the fuck? Like, go into an elevator today in your normal and life. You'll die. Look for escape hatch. <laughs> There's no hatch yeah. above or below, all right? If somebody chases you into an elevator, you're fucked you're yeah. in that elevator. Yeah. Number two. The whole movie is all chasings, as we said. Uh, no one ever breathes hard. No one no. gets tired. And no one gives up. Ever. No one gives up. Like, they uh, run through windows and walls, fall down, <laughs> get up, and continue <laughs> running. Like, have you fallen down? Like today, today, it was like if you, it was if you fall down, you don't get up from a regular <laughs> fall. These people are falling off of balconies, <laughs> dusting themselves off, and running some more. And they're all like, I don't know why this annoyed me, but they're all still wearing leather. It's like there's robots <laughs> in full armor that are bulletproof, and you're wearing just regular leather and cargo pants. Like, it's just like. What? I don't, I don't get, like, if there was supposed to be a symbolic thing, like, I know, like, in Star Wars, George Lucas was like, okay, the the, the Jedi wear, uh, they wear cloth because right. they're organic and then, you know, the Empire metal. Right. But it wasn't like that. It was no. literally, everyone's just like, oh, I get, I'm going to go get my my bomber jacket <laughs> yeah. while these robots destroy everyone I you love. Holograms. They had phones implanted into, into their, their hands hand. that they pressed glass and like a picture would show up. It's like you're gonna do all of that and you're still gonna wear like true religion jeans. Like it was just such a weird like thing that they missed. We live in the future, but we gotta hit that sale at Old Nick. Yeah, oh god. And another thing they did that they really made me mad. Is I hate when movies are set in the future and they just try to do futuristic Stop. versions of what we have yeah. now. So Magnetic he's like, cars. Yeah, well, he like goes to the fridge and he's like, oh, I'm going to get a Heineken. And yeah. it's like in a space bottle. Yeah. And it's like, God damn, there's not going to be Heineken in no. like 20 years. We're no. going to be done with it. Heineken's well. Like, if we can get into this real quick, uh, lastly, it's 1.48 p.m. We went, or yeah, 1.48 p.m. We went to 11.15 a.m. showing right. on a Friday. Sold out. 
There was a lot of people there. How many people are jobless? This recession is a really, rough economy, bro. It, but we're going to movies. It's not that bad. They're trying to escape. <laughs> and the guy next to me that is really gross. Uh, was wearing flip flops, and then he took them off, and was like, he like crossed his leg and started like playing with his foot, which literally. If I wasn't out of the movie already, I'd have been like, dude, you need, like, I was gonna say something. Like, picking his toe, like, this what? isn't your house. Yeah. That's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. My friend, I, I've talked about this many times. People are just way too free with their feet. Like, oh, God. Like, I've... Jill, the girl that does uh, movie reviews with me uh, a lot of the times, she will just put her feet anywhere. Like, it's her house, too. Yeah, but like, she's she'll white, kick right? her, Yeah. Yeah, cute. but they, they don't. They don't, they don't care, respect. yeah. White people just well, yeah, you know, that is some like, white yeah. Thing. Like you know, Corey Holcomb he even talks about how like white girls drive with their like foot hanging out the window, yeah. like all the time. And it's like I thought it was just a Georgia thing, and then I came out here and I was like, no. Nope, white everywhere. girls walk around with like barefooted in parking lots. Yeah, garages. or they're like, oh, I'm leaving the bar. I'm just gonna yeah. take my shoes off, and you're like, wait, you're in a filthy place, yeah. and then you're going to a filthier place that's out. Like, how much? How many things have you seen a homeless person do on a sidewalk, fluid-wise? Well, I don't really pay attention to you never I don't seen, observe homeless people. You've never seen a homeless guy just like peeing on himself? I've seen it like 30 times. I don't know what you know down. The homeless You're, are down look. here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up here. This is my level. <laughs> Oh. At the end of the day, would you tell people to spend their money to see this movie? Absolutely not. Not money. Like it's a it's a good thing. Like if literally like you and your girlfriend have nothing to do, and you're like, hey, I got a screener. It's a bootleg copy online. I absolutely steal this movie. Steal it. Steal it. Steal it. Go see. Go see Moonrise Kingdom, pay for that, and then walk and then into walk Total to, Recall. Yeah, afterwards. And Which you don't need to see it from the beginning, because we walked in we 10 walked minutes in, late. Yeah. All we missed literally was like, I'm kind of unhappy. And then he goes to Recall! And then... <laughs> boosh, boosh. <laughs> that was it. That was the entire... Uh, basically, movie. this movie did not follow the original at all. Not, not so if you're looking like, oh, I, want, like, I love the original, I want to go see a remake of the original, this is like... This is one of those movies that's loosely based on a on an yeah. original movie. Yeah. Island is a better <laughs> adaptation of Total yeah. Recall than this version of Total Recall. Uh, the one thing they did get super right and super awesome was a chick with three boobs, but they didn't show it long enough. Yeah, it was just like a, a and they only did it because people would have literally there would have been an uprising. People yeah. were like, where's the three boobs? <laughs> and they weren't great. Was another thing. Like, okay, you wanted them to be bigger. I mean, they were. And do you, they in were the, in the, no in the original. It's like three Ds. They're gigantic. <laughs> and then in this one, it's just kind of like I'm. It was like it looked like a birth defect. It didn't look like cool three boobs. <laughs> Like, it was just like, it would kind of be like, ah. It was like a, uh, three boobs. It wasn't like, oh, oh. I was like, uh, uh, three boobs. Really? Yeah. Like, I was just kind of like, okay. And then, like, if honestly, okay, so he sees a girl with three boobs, and then he still goes into recall. Like, if I saw a girl with three boobs, I'd be like, well, I don't need to go change my memory now. Right, I right. I just saw this girl with three <laughs> boobs. Like, I win. This is like. <laughs> This is why it came down to this Chinese future district. <laughs> yeah, it was Chinatown that he went to. With light tattoo. I just, I don't know. I didn't know. Yeah, That's like the it, one believable thing of the movie, though. Like I, like, I would expect and totally accept Asian people doing tattoos made out of glowing light. Absolutely. They seem like they'd that, be on the forefront that, of that technology. That, honestly, I was like, okay, yeah. that for sure could happen. <laughs> Everything else, like... I don't, just, I don't know, man. They they didn't do it right. We don't recommend you see this movie nope. with your hard-earned money. Um, that's Yasser Lester. Follow him on Twitter at Yasser Lester. Mal Yasser Hall. underscore Lester. I'll post it. Okay. I'm just saying. At, at Mal Hall on Twitter. This guy's really funny. I'm decent. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>